Complete beginner's guide to setting up MailChimp correctly. Yo, what's going on everyone? Shri Kanasa here and welcome to another Shopify video. In this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how you should be setting up your MailChimp account on your Shopify store so that not only is it correctly integrated with your Shopify store, but it is correctly optimized and getting a lot of conversions for your emails. So our main goal would be to correctly integrate it with your Shopify store and to set up all the things correctly via MailChimp. But like always, if you're new to my channel, pause this video really quick and take about two seconds to hit that subscribe button down below so that you stay up to date with the content I'm putting on on a weekly basis. But let's just jump right into it. All right, so as you guys can see, I made a brand new Shopify account just for this tutorial and I have not installed any of the apps yet. What we're going to do is start off by installing MailChimp onto this Shopify store. So let's go ahead and head on over to the App Store. And once it loads up, we want to basically type in MailChimp. And it'll take a few seconds to load, but after that, you want to scroll all the way down. There's a MailChimp at the top, but it is MailChimp Forms by MailMunch. This is basically for the pop-ups that go on your Shopify store. We want to actually download MailChimp itself, and it is at the very bottom of the list. So when you see this, go ahead and click on it and click on add app. We're gonna add it to our Shopify store. Take about a few seconds to load once again and then click on install app. It's as easy as that. Just takes about two seconds. And then once you hit install app, it's gonna redirect you to this page. Now there are two things that you can do. If you have already set up an account, you can click on connect existing account. But if you're completely brand new, we're going to hit create new account and basically create a brand new MailChimp account. Now on this page, you'll see some personal information. Go ahead and double check to see that everything is correct and make sure to hit edit if you want to change anything. Once you're sure that everything is correct, go ahead and click on create MailChimp account. It'll take just a few seconds to verify everything. But once that's done, at the very top, it'll say that it has sent you an email with instructions on how to create a secure password and activate your account. Make sure to get that done. I'll meet you guys once I get that done myself. Once you have successfully activated your account, go ahead and enter your username and password and sign in. It'll take about a few seconds, but now we're ready to get started with MailChimp. What I really like about MailChimp is that there's a start menu for someone completely new where it goes step by step on what you should be doing. What we want to do first is make sure that our lists are correctly created for MailChimp. Now, if you don't have a sign up form already done where it pops up, you can create a brand new one here. And all you have to do is click on create. And once you click on create, you'll be given different options. You want to go ahead and click sign up form. This is exactly what we're going to do right now for this tutorial. A sign up form is basically a pop up form to our website, which helps us collect the subscribers. And I recommend doing this step via whatever mail marketing software you use. Since we're using MailChimp right now, we want to create a brand new sign up form via MailChimp. So go ahead and click on sign up form. And from here, you'll see that your main list, which was already on your Shopify store, is already chosen. And from here, you'll see that there are three options on the top. We want to go ahead and click the middle option, which is the pop up form. We want to grow our list with the sign up form. And basically from here, you'll see that there's already a list chosen. This is the main list, which is already present in your Shopify store. So unless you created any new list over here in MailChimp, this is the one you want to choose. And then go ahead and click begin. We're going to start customizing our pop-up so that it is correctly designed for our Shopify store. But right now in the beginning, this is how our MailChimp pop-up form looks. Of course, we want to edit it and add some designs or remodel it. And this is up to you as to what kind of photos you add or what kind of colors you use for your sign-up form. But let's start with the display. This is the most important one that I want to cover. When you click on display, you'll get to see a bunch of different options. This is basically asking you when the pop-up form should display, whether it should display immediately when someone comes onto your website or after five seconds or after 20 seconds for this we want to choose on exit because we want it to only display on exit intent basically when someone drags their cursor all the way up to go ahead and click this x button at the top and what we're doing is basically saying hey hold up don't exit out because we have a special offer for you and from personal experience what i have found is that exit intent pop-ups have up to 30% conversion rates because a lot of people change their mind because the price may be too high or they may not be really trusting the website as much. So when they see an exit intent pop-up basically giving them a second chance 
of purchasing the product at a discount, they're much more likely to purchase. But the main thing you want to do is make sure on exit is chosen. And from here you can change the design, overall design of the pop-up itself. You can have the photo on the right or the left or at the top. And again, this is completely up to you, but you want to make sure that all of the colors and overall design of your pop-up matches your website itself and your niche. But let's say you have done all of these things. You want to go ahead and go to fields. Now in fields, this is where you get to choose what kind of info you want from them. I personally recommend always only checking the email address because the more you make them right, the lower the conversion rate. So make sure only email address is chosen for fields and then let's move on to the main meat of the pop-up which is the content. I always recommend having an image that closely relates to your niche or if you're a general store, some kind of image created on Canva which basically states the amount of discount code you're going to be offering your customers. And we're going to emphasize that discount code in our body section so for the main text i recommend getting rid of this but actually writing why they should enter their email address in the first place so you can start off with something simple like subscribe now to get a 20 percent off coupon code on your next order with us so let's do exactly that subscribe now to get a 20 percent off coupon code on your next order with us so right away we're giving them an incentive to why they should take the time to enter their email address into this text box if you're in a specific niche i recommend playing around with the wording so that it really matches your audience so let's say you're in the dog niche i would change this to something like dog lovers get big coupons and then below that write in unbolded letters subscribe to our email list to get a 20% off coupon code on your next purchase with us. So again, we're giving them an incentive on why they should enter their email address in the first place, but also we have words in it which match our niche. We have the word dog lovers in our main text. And this is a really important step that you need to do and spend time thinking about. But once you have the general pop-up created, go ahead and click on publish and you'll get a confirmation saying this will add the pop-up form to your site. You can always return to this page and make changes to your form. Go ahead and click on publish and good to go. You have successfully created a sign up form for your Shopify store. One thing you want to do to make sure everything is working is go back to your Shopify store and open it. From here we want to see whether the pop up form really is working and it'll take about a few seconds to load correctly so you don't want to go ahead and do it right away but after you scroll a bit and then when you take your cursor to the very top near the X the pop-up should come up and bingo there you go you have successfully created a pop-up but now that we've confirmed that let's go back to our MailChimp account and go over all of the other facilities offered by MailChimp so once you have created the sign up form there are a few steps that you can do from here the first step you want to do is make sure to go to your list and actually when the pop-up does pop up you want to go ahead and subscribe yourself to see whether the amount of subscribers is increasing if it increases then you have successfully done everything correctly but from here you can either go ahead and create a brand new campaign and there are various different campaigns that you can choose from so let's go ahead and click the create campaign on the right because that is the only step we have left so far we have done everything right we have successfully integrated MailChimp with our Shopify store and now you can either create regular campaigns or automated campaigns so in order to do that go ahead and click on create campaign and this is the window that should pop up we want to choose email the first one from the list and from here you get the option of creating regular campaigns meaning this will be a one-time campaign sent only once it could be a special offer for the subscribers who have subscribed to your list already or it can be anything else that you like but just remember this campaign will only be sent once if you want to create campaigns such as abandoned cart or welcome email flows you want to click automated and MailChimp gives you already six options which you can choose from and there are more if you click on e-commerce or database or API or whatever you want but since we have a Shopify store we want to go ahead and click on e-commerce and from here you can start creating your MailChimp campaigns let's go ahead and click on the turn on abandoned cart email because this is the first one I always recommend people to start with so go ahead and choose that and from here you get to choose the list you want this campaign to use we want this campaign to use the main list which we have already created and click on begin from here we can start designing our campaign I had already created an email marketing video on my channel previously which goes in depth on what kind of campaigns you should have running the link should have popped up in the top right but for the sake of this tutorial we're going to really quickly design an email and write some text in it 
so that I can show you exactly what a completed campaign looks like. But once you click on design email, you already get to choose from three different abandoned cart templates. You can choose any one which you prefer. I always like to go with the one that has a lot of text in it because we want our campaign to have a lot of text and be personalized. But for the first campaign, you want to stay away from introducing any type of coupon codes because we want to only send them a reminder. So this is a really good example of how the first campaign should already be. But start off the first campaign once again without any coupon codes but simply reminding that, that they have forgotten something on our store and it is only available for a limited time so at the very end you could write something like remember our products are very and write this in bold very limited and we can only hold them for a few more hours so right away we're adding scarcity to our campaign but of course edit this and watch my other video on how exactly this should be done but go ahead and click on save and close and then once you've done editing all of your content, go ahead and click on save and continue. When you click on start sending, we can go ahead and click on start to basically set up our automated flows. So you have successfully created an automatic campaign which you do not have to monitor at all because every time someone signs up to the newsletter, this email will be sent. So if we go back to campaigns, we want to make sure that our automated flow does appear on this list and it also says sending which it does. So this is the general process on how you should be setting up MailChimp correctly and how you should be creating brand new campaigns with MailChimp along with automated campaigns for the best result. Once you have created your first automated campaign you can go ahead and click on edit to edit a lot of the options. But in order to edit the actual campaign you're going to have to click on pause and edit. And once you click on pause, that is when MailChimp will give you the opportunity to actually edit all of the sections. So let's say you want to edit the timing when someone receives this email. We can go ahead and click on the first edit button. And from here, you can choose the different timing when you want a customer to receive this email. We can go ahead and choose one hour and click save and click on resume sending and resume once again. Now, if you go back to campaigns, we can see that this is the email that will be getting sent one hour after someone abandons their cart. From here, you can go ahead and click on create campaign to create more abandoned cart campaigns and again, change their timings so that they receive the emails on different times. But this is the general process that you should be using to creating your MailChimp pop-ups and successfully sending out MailChimp campaigns in order to get the best results with email marketing and grow your email list exponentially. But if you guys found any type of value in this video, do me a real small favor and hit that like button down below and I'll see you guys next time.